Hello and welcome back. So in this section, you'll be seeing how to add background color to a group of cells, to group of cells or a cell, how to change font size, how to change the font type, the font color, increasing and decreasing font size, bold, italicize and underline your font. And you also see how to create borders as well as changing numbers to currency format. All right. You also see how to format your dates, add your dates automatically and format them to your style or your preference. So without wasting time, let's go straight in. First and foremost, let's work on the heading here. So I clicked on that cell, it's called A2. Now I would hover my mouse to the home tab, click the home tab. Here we have the font group. So I want to change this cell background to say gray. Font group here you can you will see the fill color. The fill color allows you to change the the background of your cell. So click on the drop down arrow and choose the exact font background color you want to impute. So let's leave it at white background one darker 15. You will always see the name of the background color you want to use. So let's leave it at that one. All right, now I will just work on the heading, right? So the next thing I will do is to change the font type. Still clicking on the cell, right? If you want to change or place a command in Excel, you need to click on that cell before that command can be effective. So this cell is active, which is A2. I want to change the font size. I'll go to the fonts group in home tab. Here you would see fonts. Click this drop down arrow. Choose what exact font you want to change the heading to. All right. Now this depends on your preference. So let's leave it at the Algerian. All right. So the next I would look at is font color. You can change your font color. Still at the home tab, you go to the fonts group. Now hover your mouse to where you have font. Let's look at that dark blue. So this heading I would like to increase or decrease where you can easily decrease your font or increase it. So your mouse still at the home tab, fonts group, you would see these two buttons. Now this one is increase font size, while the other one is decrease font size. So that's what those things mean. So if I click on decrease font size, it reduces the fonts in that cell. While if I say increase, it increases the font size. So you can easily in increase your font size from that aspect. Or you go through this point where you have font size. Click and choose what you want exactly. Okay. Or you just work with the increase, decrease, and until you get the number you're looking for at that point. Right. So let's leave it at 14. Let's leave it at 12. Making. All right. The next thing we're looking at is to add font color. Click on the cell. Or the section that you want to add font color to. So my is I've clicked the A2. So I hover my mouse home tab, fonts group, and here you can see font color. Click the drop down arrow and choose a color of your choice. Remember, there's always the color. the The colors here do have names, so you need to be sure of what name you choose and so let's leave it at that one now i want to italicize this test here i go to the home tab fonts group and over here i can change to bold 
I can italicize it and I can add underline to this document. I could also add double underline by clicking on the drop down arrow there. You will see a double underline. Okay, so let's just italicize that, that heading. All right, the next thing I will look at or talk about is using Format Painter. To put a Format Painter, you need to select the, the cell you want to copy. All right, Format Painter allows you to copy the formatting of a particular cell to another cell. So here, I want to copy this particular formatting and place it somewhere else. So it is selected. I click. Now I go to my Home tab, Clipboard Group. This button there is Format Painter. I click on it. Now I can paste it somewhere. Let's say expenses. All right. So you can see it has taken the exact formatting of A2. All right. So I want to create borders. To apply a border, I would click on any. I can add borders to all of this, you know, activity but I can let's just work with one cell so I click on this cell I want to add border to it so home tab format group and this button here is the border button I'll click click the down arrow beside it here you will see different border formatting all you need to do is look around and choose which best suits your perf preference so I will use the first button there let's see what we have bottom line it didn't take effect let's see bottom line again that's a bottom line so we won't see it clearly let's choose um, no bother let's see something we would be bottom double border right so it's been there all the while but it wasn't clear so okay so i've added butter um that particular border there now the next thing i want to look at i would show you is formatting numbers to currency now we do have these numbers here so click on either one let's start with the first one now to your home tab here over your mouse to the numbers and this aspect is our accounting number format by beside it you would see a drop down arrow click on it choose the more accounting format more accounting format here this category tells you you can change that part this number here to any format at this point but at this point too, we are working on the currency so i click on the currency here decimal places i want to leave it at zero decimal places so i need to make it zero decimal places why i change that you will see the sample here changes that's for you to see how it's going to look at when it's formatted so if i increase it again you will see one decimal places two decimal places okay so that's it now the symbol over here negative numbers of course currency doesn't come in negative format so you need to click on that aspect the symbol it's already in rand but this drop down arrow takes you to different currency in the world so to choose that rand probably the the computer you'll be using wouldn't have the symbol rand exactly there so you need to just scroll through until you find so we're looking for south africa rand so it should be up somewhere there
South Africa R English South Africa. So click on that, and that's what we have. And click and choose the okay. Now you can see the format that is changed. You can do the same to, to um, C5 and same at C6. Okay, now we want to add date to this document. Automatically type in this formula, the equal, and make this in capital now. Open and close brackets, then press the enter key. So I have successfully inserted the today's date and the time, but I would want to format this timing. I'm going to format the timing, click on that and To add date to your document, let's click at the A1. Now type in the equal sign. Now in capital, open and close bracket and press the enter key. You can see at the A1, the address here shows A1, shows the date, the current date and the time. Now you may want to change the formatting of this. So let's go to go to home tab and here you have the number group. Click this dialog box launcher. Dialog box launcher. You can see this format in here. Remember we're working on date and not time. So I click on that date. By the right hand side you will see different date formatting. Choose the last one there. And the local time here is South Africa and click OK. All right, so this is what we've chosen. And that's it. So I hope you like this video. Feel free and drop your comments in the comment sections below. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly do so. And I'll see you in the next video.